Hello, Diego. Hello, Edwin. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Diego? How was your day? Um, fine. Fine. Did you go to work? Um, do you go to no. work? No. Did you go to work? Because if we still trabajar, did you? Uh, it's past tense, right? Did you go to work? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Janina. Welcome. Hello, Walter. Welcome. Hello. How are you, Jani? How was your day? Fine. And you? It was very good. It was a very nice day today. Uh, Let's see. Mr. Walter, how was your day? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, very good. Do you live far from your job? Viven lejos de su trabajo? Or is it close? Yes. How how far? Um like in in hours or in time? One hours. One hour. What about you, Diego? Yes. Mr. Diego, how far do you live from your job? ¿Qué tan lejos vives? Um, como 30 minutes. Well, it's it's closer than Janira. <laughs> yeah. That's better. Hello, Ronald, Carlita, Mr. Jorge. Mr. Edwin, that is walking. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. It is a pleasure to have you all here and for sure to have the opportunity to share another day of classes with you. So uh, today uh, they were asking if you had access to the platform and I think many of you have access already, right? Is anybody having problems to enter to the platform? Yes, who? Yes. Okay, let me see. Who is having problem? Janita, tell me, what is the problem? No, no tengo problemas con la plataforma. Ah, no, bien. there's no problem. No. Okay, good. No. Oh, Diego, do you have any problem with the platform? No? No, no problem. Sure. Okay, Jorge? No problem. Everything's good. Edwin? No problem, no problem with the platform, right? Me he probado, teacher, todavía. <laughs> Edwin, do it. Don't leave anything for the last minute, okay? But try, okay? Hoy en la noche pruebe, a ver si no le da problema. Ronald? No problems with the platform? No problem, teacher. Okay, Excellent. good. You, you have access. Wendy Beatriz, do you have access to the platform? No problem. No problem. Mr. Dennis Gerardo, do you have problems with the platform? I don't. Okay, very good. Carlita? No. no. No problem. Very good. Luis Parrilla? No problem with the platform? No problem, teacher. Very good job. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Walter, any problem with the platform? Everything's good. Okay, perfect then. Good. So, we are going to start our day working a little bit on some sentences right and i am going to uh start the class by showing you a couple of pictures and you are going to write original sentences so please i need you to have your notebook ready do you have your notebook there do you have your notebook with you show me your notebook thank you very much yes i see johnny's i see the Good, very good. So I am going to show you, I am going to show you a picture and I need you to write a sentence in simple present. I need you to write a sentence in simple present and as soon as you have it, you tell me the sentence, okay? 
So you are going to be fast to write the sentence. It can be any type of sentence with he, she, I, you, we, they, whatever. And the picture that I am going to show you, okay? I am going to uh, highlight myself, okay? So you can see the picture, okay? Can you all see me? Yes. The first picture is, <laughs> it's green, come on. Whatever thing that comes to your mind. Lo que se le venga a la mente con esa imagen. Cereal. No, 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 but give me a sentence, a complete sentence. So, okay, <clears throat> let's follow the rules. Okay, paremos este juego. Stop. You are going to write the sentence. And when you finish writing the sentence, you are going to tell me the sentence, okay? No, así como, they eat breakfast, teacher. No, you have to write it because you have to organize it here first on paper and then you tell me the sentence, okay? Okay, okay. No pasado nada, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the sentence is based on this picture. It's cereal, juice, and bread, so it's a complete breakfast. Who has the sentence? Ajá, tan pronto lo terminen de escribir, ahí sí me lo pueden decir. Go, 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 go. Who has it? Who has it? ¿Quién ya la tiene? Hi, for morning at 8 a.m. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Johnny's, otra vez. I take breakfast in the morning at 8 o'clock p.m. I take breakfast. Okay, what is the verb for breakfast? Take or eat? Eat. Ah, because when you say take, I take my breakfast. Okay, at eight o'clock. Good. Point for Johnny. Okay. Another sentence with breakfast. Vemos. Who has another sentence? She eats breakfast. She eats, eats breakfast. Very good. Remember in the third person forms, the verb. Mark the verb. Another sentence. Ronald, vamos. Uh, Nati love. Eat breakfast cereal and orange juice. <laughs> okay. Natty loves to eat. Natty eat. loves to eat cereal and juice for breakfast. Okay. Natty loves to eat cereal and juice for breakfast. Ready for the next one. The next picture. I play Ruby. I play? Cool, Ruby. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está la oración? Muéstramela. Ah, tricky, tricky, tricky boy. No, 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 no. Write it, write it. Lo tienen que escribir para que nos podamos ordenar y que no tengan problemas al crear oraciones. I love Kubi Rubik. I love Kubi Rubik. Mm -hmm. Rubik cubes. I, love, I don't play. I don't play. Rubik cube. I don't play <laughs> Rubik cube. I don't like them. Oh, I don't like them. I feel frustrated. I always say, el, el cubo Rubik es como mi vida. Le arreglo un lado, se arruinan tres. <laughs> so, I, I don't like Rubik cubes. Or I don't play Rubik cubes. Okay. The uh -huh. next, <laughs> then it's, yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. The next picture, okay, another sentence with Rubik cubes. Otra oración con Rubik cubes? He has a Rubik cube. He has a Rubik cube. Very good. He has a Rubik cube. What about the next one? I don't know if we are going to see this one. Mi vecina. Steve. <laughs> It is a snake. It is a snake. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Mi vecino. 
I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. Very good. A complete <laughs> sentence. Another one. She had she had a snake. She has a snake. Yes. Another one. I like a snake. I like snakes. I like them too. They are very beautiful. Scared of snake. I am I scared. Am I am scared of snakes. Jorge. I had little snake. I have a little snake, right? But I'm not on the stomach. <laughs> Some people who are very thin, they have a big a big snake in the stomach. What about this one? It's a cat. I got the It is cat little. Uh, it is a it is cat little. Okay, adjective goes first. El adjetivo va primero. You cat. had a cat. Aha, you have a cat. Very good. It is a cat little? No, the adjective is little. And the adjective goes before the noun. So it is a little cat. It is a little cat. Another cat. sentence. Uh -huh. She loves very the old. cat. She loves cats. Aha, uh -huh. what is the other one? It is cat or dog. It's a cat. Look at the cat. Tail. The cat is ugly. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. Another sentence with the cat. We need a cat. We need a cat. <laughs> there is a mouse in the house. I don't like. I don't I, like cats. You don't like cats? Then it's why. ¿Quién te hizo tanto daño en la vida? It's a mud thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, I great. love dogs. I love dogs and, as well and cats and, and all the animals. I love them. The next one. This one has to be negative. Okay? Negative. Ready? I don't have a money. <laughs> write the sentence. <laughs> write it down. Write it down. <laughs> I don't have a money. Ajá. Cuando les pida que le tomen foto a las oraciones y me las manden, ahí me van a decir, no la he que ir, Cynthia. Ahí le pongo un tomate. Negative. Money, money. I don't have five cents. I don't have five cents. Abajo de la costa. Yeah. Yeah, in El Salvador, if you don't have the money, they take you down. It's like, oh, sorry. Money is uncountable. So you cannot say a money because money is uncountable. A pesar de que lo podemos contar, es incontable. So you don't say, I don't have money. I don't have a lot of money. I don't have much money. Okay? But you don't say, I don't have a money. Okay? I don't have money for the bus. I don't have money for the bus. I don't have money for the bus. Good, 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 good. The next sentence. ¿Ya lo escribieron? Done. The next one is. He don't cook. He. Always. I don't cook. I don't, I don't cook. It's a chef. It's a she. She is a chef. She is a chef. Uh huh. Simple present. Remember. She likes to cook every day. She likes to cook every day. What a good sentence. Very nice. What about the next one? Another one with the chef. No way, as you I can now. Okay. That I is. I want to play. I want to play. What? I love to play basketball. I love to play basketball too, right? I love to play basketball. I am bad, but I love to play, right? 
I am bad at basketball. And it's like, ah, all the time. Yeah, but I love to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. La mayoría del partido voy a ser yo gritando, ah, ah. But I love to play. <laughs> falta, falta. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, I will be like, there you go. Sentences with basketball. I like to play basketball on Saturday. I like to play basketball on Saturdays. Very complete sentence. I like it. Another one. We doesn't need a ball. Ooh, we? We doesn't? We don't. We don't. Right? We don't. 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 Another one. He plays basketball in the park. He plays basketball on the park. Very good sentence. The next one. It's going to be. Let me see. Pam, pam, pam. I like cheese. I like cheese. <laughs> I, 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 lo I love to eat cheese. I, I like to eat cheese. I like to eat cheese. I love it. I, I love cheese, right? I love cheese. Good. I have cheese. I have cheese where? Donde es el queso? I, lo I love cheese in the pizza. I love cheese on pizza. Good. You can say, I have cheese in my refrigerator. I have cheese in my refrigerator because they have, I mean, in El Salvador, we always have cheese in the refrigerator. Yeah, cheese in a tortilla and a piece of lemon. There is always in a Salvadorian refrigerator. Si no me cree, si no me cree, después de la clase voy a ver la refrigerator. Cheese, tortillas, and lemon. There is always. And some curtido from pupusas. Que su mamá dice, bota el curtido. No, lo vamos a ocupar para un huevo. <laughs> and they never use it. And it's there, el curtido. It's like all, all. What about this one? Look what he's, look what, what he's doing. How do you say dibujar in English? Ah, very good question. Yeah. I love that you use the vocabulary. The, I love draw it's cat. draws. She draws. She draws. A draws. Cat. I love draws. She cut. I <clears throat> in that case you say I love to draw, right? Draws is in third person. But in this one. For the first person you say, draw. I draw a cat, right? I draw a cat. And the last sentence that we are going to do today. I read a book. Uh -huh, I read a book, very good. I have a book. I have a book. Good sentence. I like, I, I like to read book. I like to read. I like. Remember read. yesterday. Yesterday I told you like, want, and love go two. with two. I like to read books, right? Good job, my dear class. You did a very nice job. So please, at the end of the class, send me the sentences. That's and I don't have them. Yeah, send me the sentences at the end of in a picture take a picture and you can send it to the group okay if you don't remember invent the sentence <laughs> but you have to send me the sentence so please that's going to be for the end of the class hello edwin mauricio welcome welcome victor manuel as well let's work okay so hello, to, hello. Yesterday, we had the chance to be reviewing a little bit about simple present, right? We had the chance to review a little bit of the topics of simple present. Did you all download the manual? Yes? 
¿Se acuerdan que les dije que les iba a preguntar ahora? Yes. ¿Todos descargaron el manual? Yes. 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 ¿Qué? ¿Todos lo tienen descargado? Yes. yes. ¿Está abierto el manual ahorita en sus computadoras? Yes. yes. Ajá. Let's see. No. No, no teacher, no. No. Ajá. Vamos a ver para los que ya lo descargaron. I am going to go to page 16. ¿Qué imagen hay en la página 16? Ajá. Let's see. Me pasé a la 28. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two men. Are there two men? What are they doing? conversation it's a conversation right it's a conversation between two men okay Estrellita para ti. very good job so you did a very good job I, they were like what teacher page 16 yes it is a conversation thank you for the one carla patricia is showing me the manual very good <laughs> and it's like yeah Aquí lo tengo, teacher, you say. Good job. Yes, on page 16, there is a conversation between two men, right? It's here. You cannot say between two men because men, it's plural. Okay? Men, it's already plural. Okay. <laughs> Americo says hello to all of you. And let's go to work. So yesterday we worked on a, the little review of simple present, right? And we, ya me pasé. sorry, sorry, sorry. We were working on the conversation, right? We were also working in the sentences and we were also reviewing a little bit of grammar, right? In this one. You were also working in the different things that you do Every day you were working on your different activities. So we are going to work a little bit on this. And we are going to start with Dominic. We have a conversation between Sonia and Matt. I am going to ask Jorge Antonio and Carla Patricia to help me with the conversation. What does Dominic do? Well, she is, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your points. Well, she takes touch, report, and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive ever early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. <laughs> very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. My dear class. Excellent. Uh, good. Let's see. I am going to ask... Thank you, my dear group. You did a very good job. I am going to ask Janita and Ronald to help me. Then Diego and Dennis. Okay, what Janita. Does, uh -huh. does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Uh, I see your point. Well, she ties reports and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Um, go ahead, go ahead. The thing that you Absolutely. think. Go ahead, Janina. Como usted uh, considera que se puede... Does she... <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to the right in the office. Very good job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, let's go with Diego and Wendy.
Okay, Diego, you start and Wendy, you continue. Ah, uh, who is Sonia? Just. You're going to start. It's okay. Uh, what's that Dominic uh, do? Will. She is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day, Excel? Oh, I see your point. Will she take reports and things home every day? She is a hardworking woman. Actually, no second opponent. It's say. okay. Continue. Continue. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to ask Luis and uh, let me see. Luis and Dennis. Go, Luis. You can start. What does Dominic do? Will she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Will she type, report, and send email every day? She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, good job. Thank you very much, my dear students. Listen to the pronunciation. What does, what does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? Does, not does, right? What does Dominic do? Well, well, yeah. because yeah. in this one, we have to be very careful because will is another thing, right? Will, it's another thing. Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. It's like, ah. It's like, this is nuestro, ah, de veras, of, of Spanish, right? Oh, I see. What does she do every day? What does she do every day? What does she do every day exactly, right? To give specific things, specific activities. Oh, I see your point. It's like, ah, ya sé que te referís. Oh, I see your point. No es que te veo el punto, right? No, I see your point. It means that ya sé a que te refieres. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. A hardworking woman is the one that works a lot every single day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. 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 Does Absolutely. she arrive early? She, yeah, she's the first. Esa es una palabra que le da guerra a todo mundo. Todos dicen first, and it is first. first. Well, uh, yes, she is the first person to arrive in the office. And you know, yeah, it is considered informal for American people. In, in, in a conversation, for example, with a formal person, a formal American person, you cannot say, yeah, I know, yeah, you see, yeah, because they consider it really informal, yeah? Yo lo aprendí de la manera dura. <laughs> because I was in a conversation with an American person and she was like, like very, like, yeah, she was very sociable and everything and she looked like my friend. And I said, ah, yeah, we are going to do that. And she hit me and she said, don't say yeah, say yes. And I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's, yeah, it's for them, it's considered informal. You can use it with conversations with your friends, with people, with normal people, but in a formal situation, don't say yeah. Okay. Yes. Si algún día hablan con algún encargado, o con alguna persona de la empresa, con algún visitante o algo, me van a decir, yeah, I work here. 
because that's really informal, right? Quiero decir, usted nunca estuvo con teacher Nati en la clase. Because we don't say yeah, it's yes, okay? Say so yes, she's the first person to arrive in the office, okay? Go with me. What does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? <coughs> what does Dominic do? Dominic do? Okay. Con intriga. Usted sí quiere saber. You say, what does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? Okay. Usted ve a Dominic sentado en la silla, así. Tranquilo. What does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I, I see. see. Oh, I see. I see. Do every day exactly. Oh, I see your point. Oh, oh I, I see. Point. Point. Oh, I see your oh, point. I see your point. Oh, I see your point. Oh, I see your point. It's like, oh, ah, see, sí, I didn't right? Oh, I see your point. Oh, see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see your point. Oh, I see your point. Well. Well, well, she types well, reports well. and sends emails every day. She well, types reports every day. Every day. She is a hardworking woman. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. 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 Okay, usted está de acuerdo con el otro. Le dice absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yes. Yes. She's the yeah. first person. Yeah. <laughs> no. She's the first person to arrive in the office. She's the first person to arrive in the office. Okay. Very good job. Right. That's the way. That's the way we do it. So. We need to sharpen these little things, right? A mí me gusta mucho pulir esos partecitas de pronunciación, que ustedes no cometan esos errores y que no digan, hey, ¿por qué llego al nivel 5 diciendo dos? No, what does? What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see, right? English is a lot about expression. It's about pronunciation, intonation, right? Fluency. El inglés no tiene tildes ni nada, pero se expresa y según su entonación le da la referencia a lo que está hablando. Porque no es lo mismo que yo le diga, oh, I see your point. A que le diga, ah, I see. And you would like, okay, teacher, are you okay? No, 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 I see your point. That would be like, okay, I'm in trouble. It's like, what does Dominic do, right? It's like, what is she doing? Ooh, nothing, she's sitting, <laughs> right? Does she arrive early? Like, did she arrive early today? And it's like, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> does she arrive early to work? It's different, right? Intonation, it's important, right? It matters a lot. When you talk about activities of another person, you use third person form. As you can see here, you say she types reports, she sends emails, right? She works a lot. So in this case, we are going to use the third person form. You cannot say she type reports, right? This is incorrect. So you say she types reports. Hi. You don't say, do she arrive late? Does no. she arrive late? You say, does she? Right, because this is the auxiliary for does. And when you use the auxiliary, the verb doesn't have the S anymore. Does she arrive? Because you have auxiliary already. El auxiliar ya toma la forma de la tercera persona. Does she arrive? No podemos decir, does she arrives early? No, that's incorrect because you have second, uh, the two third persons and that's not correct. Okay, so. This is important to remember. So I am going to show you my presentation here. And we're going to cover uh, some exercises with this, okay? I have here, I have here a couple of verbs, right? I have here a couple of verbs that we're going to use, 
right? About the things that you do every day, but I need you to create sentences with he or she. And in this case, if I say, for example, let's go here, I will say he, give me one of the verbs in third person singular. He eat a bread. He eat. 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 He eats what? A bread, you say. He eats a bread. Good. And you have one sentence. Give me another one with she. She, she, she likes she sleep. She, she sleeps. She sleeps a lot. In the afternoon. <laughs> she sleeps in the afternoon. Okay. La cenicienta le dice. She sleeps in the afternoon. She sleeps in the afternoon. Okay, good. Let's see. And I am going to take another one. Yesterday, we studied different members of the family. Ayer estudiamos los diferentes miembros de la familia. Give me an example with a member of the family. Mm. One example with a member of the family. My brother, My brother listens to music. My brother listens to music. My brother listens to music, right? My brother takes a shower. Okay. Another member of the family. My mother cooks the lunch. My mother cooks lunch. lunch. Okay. There you go. So I am going to send you the verbs, right? I am going to send you these verbs. I think I have them right here. Okay. I have mom. <laughs> and here we have all these different verbs. I am going to send them to your chat. Se lo voy a enviar al chat ahorita. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. And here we go. We are going to go and we are going to work in groups. In the group, you are going to invent a little family. And you are going to tell me the activities that this family does every single day, okay? You are going to say, in my family, my mother eats breakfast at seven. My father, ta, ta, ta. My brother, ta, ta, ta. You are going to invent what this family does during the day. ¿Qué hace esta familia durante el día? And you are going to invent the sentences of your family, okay? You are going to be brothers and sisters today. Ustedes van a ser una sola familia. On the group, it's only one family, okay? On the group, it's only one family. And what you are going to do is this. You say, in my family, my mother cooks uh, breakfast at 7 a.m. My brother, cleans the house. And then you are going to continue, right? With your sister, your aunt, your uncle, whatever. The idea is that you collect 15 lines. Tienen que juntar 15 líneas en su parte. Okay? You are going to do this. This is the little example that you are going to do. With your group, you are going to create a paragraph about a family. It's your family, okay? It's only one family. Solo uno de ustedes va a escribir el párrafo. Because the other ones are going to help to invent. And when we come back, you are going to tell us what your family does. Cuando regresen, van a reportar qué es lo que hace su familia. ¿Qué es que la hace especial? We have six members on each group. Okay, I am going to move this one to room number two. Okay, so I think we're going to have three families. Tres familias vamos a tener. So, invent. You can use different members of your family. My cousin, my aunt, my uncle, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, whatever you want to use. Okay, so invent the activities that your family does on the day with your group. Go ahead.
Okay, Victor Manuel, did you receive the invitation to go to the groups? Victor, ¿recibiste la invitación para ir a los grupos? There you go. Excellent. I will give them a couple of minutes for them to set up and then we're going to go and check how they are doing. My cousin. Cousin. Listen music. Listen music. Listen music. All day. Uh -huh. All, All day. day. Uh -huh. All days. All day. All day. Todo el día. Huh? And, and my brother, my brother, get up, uh -huh. get up, Como? get up, get up, sí. uh, get up, ¿Quién es nuestro secretario? ¿Quién está escribiendo? Jonis. Yo. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, Jonis. Ok, Jonis. Todos los demás, entonces, si Jonis está escribiendo, todos los demás hay que aportar. Todos inventemos y si no, lo pueden mandar ahí al chat, en WhatsApp, it's okay. Solo le ponen arroba Johnny's para que sepa que es para él. Ok. Ajá. Get up. Get up. Coaching. Who is my secretary here? Who's writing? Aquí hay apuntes. ¿Quién es, ¿Quién es el que está tomando apuntes? Denis. 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 Denis García. Ok, Denis. Good. Denis es el secretario. It's her secretary, right? El secretario. Este es nuestro secretario. Denis va a pasar el acta al final. Ok, continue working. Continue. Ok. Denis, my, my coaching. Yes. Every day, todos los días. Every day, no, pero del fin de semana no. Es on Monday. Ah, es cierto. On Friday. No, es... Friday. Ajá. On Monday. Piensa en la otra, le escribo. Ya tengo la otra. Uh, pero ya casi. Ok, continue. Who is the secretary? <laughs> Letra más fea, pero ahí va. <laughs> Janira, ok, no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Ok, chicas, la siguiente, la número cuatro eh, sería. My brother plays. My brother. Play soccer on Saturdays. Soccer, soccer. Soccer. Ok, en Víctor Manuel. Víctor Manuel. Let's collaborate with the girls. All right. La ticha no me dio descanso a mí. No, Katherine, espero que ella se sienta un poquitito mejor. ¿Se siente un poquito mejor que ella? Ay, no, créeme, Katherine, me mandaron ¿Eh? incapacitada. Sí, ok, so, entonces mándelas al chat, mándelas al chat, no esté hablando, mándelas al chat. Oh, my God. <risa> yeah, for, for you. Okay. Mándenos, mándenoslas al chat, Katherine, no, no se preocupe. Víctor Manuel, colabórenos ahí, por favor. Ok, let's continue. My boyfriend, I'm Paul. Brother, play, play soccer. soccer. Mm -hmm. Algo otra palabra ahí con las otras de los parientes, tío, primo, abuelo, abuela, novia, novio. Cuñado. Yo digo una. Cuñado, cuñada. 
esposo, esposa. Voy a decir una de hermana. Dale, dale. Yeah. Dice, my sister work, works in a bank near home. Ella trabaja cerca work. de la casa. Work. Banca, cerca de la Ajá. casa. In, my in, sister in, work in a bank in the bank, in the bank near bank. home. In the bank, the bank near home, cerca de la casa. Near, near. Did you finish? I don't know. I don't know who's writing. ¿Quién lleva la cuenta? ¿Quién, te, quién, ¿Quién lleva la cuenta de los 15 líneas? Ay, mi libro era. <laughs> Ay, Dennis. Le vamos a quitar el trabajo. ¿Cuánta pandemia? Dos me salen. <risa> Continue working. <risa> es que tiene una página de oficio, pero a lo largo. <risa> Ay, Dennis. <risa> no, llevo cinco. Faltan uh... diez. Only ten, only ten. <laughs> Continue. My wife walks in the morning, says Jorge. Is it true? De verdad? <laughs> okay. Yes. So you have another, you have another line. What mean? <laughs> with you. You say with me, with me. With me. Okay, so let's continue. Continue because you are missing a lot of lines. Le falta un montón, bicho. Let's work. Tiempo, tiempo nos queda? Like I will, I am going to give you like six minutes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh. Eh, otra sería My Coasting Studies English at Night. My Coasting Study English at Night. Remember, you are uh, talking about third persons. Todos esos son terceras personas. So you say, My Coasting Studies. Studies. Ah, está ah, está Le quitas la Y y le pones I, E, I, E, S. Ah. Very good job, Walter. You yes. did the investigation of the rules. That's pretty nice. Yeah, right? Walter sí se recuerda las reglas. Very nice. Okay, let's continue. Continue. How many lines do you have? Janis, how many lines do you have? ¿Cuántas líneas llevan? Como, eh, 12. 12, ok, le faltan todavía 3. Continue, continue. ¿Qué es mi cuñada? My sister and love. My sister and love. Sister in love. Has many hey, sister in love. Sister in love. Has uh -huh. many cats. Has many cats. Has many cats. Uh -huh. Another one. Faltan cuantas? Cinco, creo. Cinco. Vaya, Me la otra. Uh -huh. Por favor, espérame. My sister in love. Has. Has, has, has. many cats. Has, has many many cats. Oh, cat. Thank you. Uh -huh. Learning. Learning. Uh -huh. uh, learning. Very happy. <laughs> Estamos aprendiendo muy feliz. Finish. Creo que ya alcanzan las 15. <laughs> We are learning very happy. I love the sentence. That was so good. Right? We are learning very happy. That's what that was good. Uh, yesterday, say, ¿cómo se dice? Decía en pasado, decir. Said. ¿Cómo? Said. Said. Uh, 
que ella decía que era difícil. <risa> That's good. I, I, that makes me very happy. No sabe lo feliz que me hace que ustedes estén contentos. I am very glad. Y eso que es el día 2. <risa> y Edwin le va a decir, y eso que no hemos hecho examen. <risa> Ahí van a estar más very happy. Yeah, ya le va a decir Edwin y Normita, espérense que la conozcan. Cuando Ahorita hace, comenzamos. Cuando Ahorita hacen los comienzo. exámenes, todo es dulce, todo es miel sobre hojuelas. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I'm very cool, don't worry. Son mentiras, no les voy a mentir mierda. Ahorita. Ok, check your paragraph, ok. Check your paragraph, check it. Okay, revisenlo ahorita. Antes de irlo a mostrar allá con todo, check it. Okay. I, will, I will give you some minutes. It's, if not later, you will say like, hey, what? Oh, I didn't see it. No, check right now. Okay, check. Ahí te envié uno al chat. My grandfather drinks coffee with my grandmother. My grandmother makes tortillas flor for, for lunch. For lunch. Coffee. My brother, my grandmother makes tortillas. Sí. For, no flor. For lunch. For lunch. Error de dedo. Yeah, the, the translator, right? It's always his fault, right? It is always the chat. Don't worry. Ya me da la mano de tanto escribir. Ay, my God. Flor lunch. For lunch. For... <risa> Siempre el error. Ay, está <risa> For lunch. <risa> ok, continue. Did you finish now with the 15 lines? Hoy sí ya llevan 15. How many do you have now? 20 van ya. Nice. Okay. Check the paragraph before you go to the group. Okay. Check the paragraph before you go to the group. No vayan a presentar el párrafo equivocado. Revise. Check. Okay. <laughs> Check it right now. If, okay. not, if not later, you will say, Dennis, mira lo que escribiste. No, 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 no. Check it. Okay. It's the group's paragraph. El párrafo del grupo. Not only the Dennis. Okay. Check. No, no, no. Check. <laughs> in, in la, por así como I N y después L A W in la. Ah, es que no te he escuchado bien. In love the in in love the shopping. In la da the shopping. No es go to the shopping. Eh, porque es, 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 dice mi cuñado hace las compras. Ah, oh. hace las... Bueno, te entendí bien. Das ¿Me lo quieres escribir? Por favor. In that case, it will be das the shopping. Das. Uy, I look yellow. Das hace. Ah, sí. My brother love. Uh, lo voy a volver a escribir porque lo tenía diferente. So you say, my brother in law does the shopping. I send it to the group right now. I still have been in chat. My brother in law does the shopping. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you, teacher. Because all the ones are in third person. Todas sus oraciones están en tercera persona. So all the verbs have to be in third person. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So check, please. You have only two more minutes. Tienen dos minutos nada más para terminar y revisar. I am going okay. to go out from here. Thank you. The students are going to come back from the breakout rooms in one minute. They are just finishing details about uh, their paragraphs.
let's see. Hello. Hello, teacher. Welcome back. <clears throat> I am getting your pictures from the group. We have your pictures now. I have four pictures already. I need the other ones. My sister works in the, my brother plays soccer. No, escritura no. <laughs> no, you say go. No, escribo. No, it doesn't matter. No, no, no crean que lo hago ni porque vean su escritura ni por nada. Solo queremos <clears throat> corregir. Don't worry. Aquí no importa, no importa. So I need the other two. Okay, let me see. I need, where is the one from the other group? Nos falta. Okay, ya tenemos el grupo de Johnny's. Tenemos el grupo de Mr. Manzano. Eh, nos falta el tercer grupo. Okay, where is the other group? One moment, please. Okay, okay. Ahí lo mandó a imprimir ahí al ciber. <risa> en banner. <risa> en banner. Ay, no. Ok. So we are going to work on checking. We are going to check. Why do, why do you say like, I know, teacher, uy, no. It doesn't matter. The idea is to learn all together. Aquí todos aprendemos de todo. Okay, and we are going to check it, okay? Beautiful pictures, by the way. Let me know when you send it. We're going to start with this one. Aha, uh -huh. el grupo. It says, in my family, in my family, let me get, get a pencil, right? Me siento como en el salón de clases. Déjenme buscar el lápiz. I have it. In my family, y lo vamos a hacer con rosadito para que no digan que los, re, los reviso con rojo. In my family, coma, ok, si puso coma, la M no tiene que ser mayúscula. It's normal. My cousin listens music all day. And my, aquí no va mayúscula, and my brother gets up at 9 a.m. My mother, esta no va mayúscula, takes 
a breakfast for all family. If you say my mother takes a breakfast for all the family, es que su mamá come por toda la familia. <laughs> Your family doesn't eat. She eats or she, okay, you say she eats breakfast with all the family. It's que come con todos or she cooks, right? She cooks breakfast for all the family, right? She cooks breakfast for all the family. I see. Uh, for all the family. For all the family. He falta. My father likes to run in the morning. And my brother, my brother plays soccer. Eh, aquí va a punto, ¿verdad? My sister. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es el problema aquí? My sister La S que me falta. works wow. in the bank or at the bank. At the bank. At the bank. Si usted está en el lugar, decimos I am in the bank. Pero si alguien trabaja en un lugar, my sister works at the bank. Ok. My sister works at the bank. At the bank near my my home on weekend on weekends porque estamos hablando en general I go out with ok no lo critico porque yo hice 5000 líneas de esa palabra cuando estaba en la universidad with. yes that was my problem with. Yeah. with yo lo escribí así y una licenciada me dejó cinco mil palabras, cinco mil veces. Necesitamos With. que nos dé cinco mil. I need, I need to do that. Yeah, I know the verbs. With my girlfriend. Girlfriend no lleva mayúscula. My son watches, good, watches TV. Y aquí TV sí va con mayúscula. Y aquí no lo pusieron con mayúscula. Right? My, sis, my son watches TV every day. My cousin, no lleva G. My cousin studies, very good. English at night. Night. Otras cinco mil veces. Night. Que siga acumulando. Que siga acumulando. Yes. Yeah. My daughter. Daughter es con A. Ah, cinco mil también. And it is daughter. Otras cinco mil. My daughter. Otras cinco mil. My daughter is a student at my daughter is a student at college. Okay. There you go. You have the first one, right? You have the first one. Ahí tenemos el primer corregido. Y así vamos a hacerlo con todos. No se preocupe. So there you go. Como la costumbre, teacher, voy a poner en mayúscula. Uh, yeah, but we, we need to change that. We need to change that. So, let me see. I am going to add it right here. Uh, okay, don't worry, don't worry. You will say like, oh, teacher, que relajo. No, take it easy. Hey, hombre, traviesos. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go here. I am going to stick the page. Hey, what happened? There you go. Let's go with the next one. Let's go with the next picture. Okay, ahí guardamos el revisado. Let's go with the next picture. Here. We are learning very happy. Yes. We are learning very happy. Very, no va con mayúscula. My mother-in-law is all, is all the support. It's all the support of the family, okay? And if we count all the mistakes, si contamos todos estos errores, so let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my God, we That's have like, <laughs> we have like a, a beautiful uh, six. And I will give you a happy face for you too. Thank you. <laughs> so the group has, Six. <laughs> yes. 
but it was it was good okay let's correct the next one let's correct the next one okay here let's go with this one we're going to correct this one we are going to start with this one. Okay, the first one, people, these are lines. This is not a paragraph. Estas son líneas sueltas. Este no es un párrafo. This was a paragraph that was correct, right? But this is lines. But it's okay. I am going to accept it. And it says, in my family, my father takes, takes, takes a shower at, acuérdense que antes de las horas va at, at five the clock. Ah, o'clock. Okay, sorry. How do you write otros cinco mil? O'clock. Okay. My Pichero, mother. Solo que no se entiende. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Welcome to the jungle. Where is it? What? What? Yes. Uh -huh. Chan, chan, chan. Le oh. falta la C. <laughs> <laughs> He revisado cuadernito 19 años de mi vida. <laughs> No, teacher, no. <laughs> no, but it's it's okay. It's okay. We are learning. Mira, lo hace el castigo, hombre. 5,000. Let's go. My mother cooks, cooks. cooks the breakfast. This one is not necessary. Cooks breakfast. Breakfast is una sola palabra. Otra 5,000. Breakfast uh, at, okay, aquí nos falta at, remember, before the time, you say at 6 o'clock a.m. Si ya dijimos 6 o'clock a.m., lo podemos poner 6 in the morning, and it's, it's okay. My son, what is the problem here? Está al revés. My son Gross. goes, oh. goes at school. Goes ni at ni de to school on Monday or Friday. Si decimos, my son goes to school on Monday or Friday, es que vaya a ser el lunes o el viernes. And it's like, ah, yo vas el lunes o el viernes, sí. My mother goes to, my, <laughs> my son goes to school from, so you say, from, from Monday, to Friday, okay? From Monday to Friday. And what is the problem here? Monday sí va con mayúscula. Y Friday sí va con mayúscula porque son nombres propios. My brother plays, plays soccer on Saturday. That's correct. My boyfriend loves. loves. Después de loves, ¿qué hacemos? To, to ride, to ride. To ride. Motorcycle. ¿Cómo escribimos motorcycle? Motorcycle. Otra cinco mil. <laughs> motorcycle. My sister likes, likes, likes. to otra cinco mil. Se te de más. Lo bueno que va a alcanzar para cinco mil. Listen to music, right? My wife goes, goes to, oh, it was almost correct. My wife goes to the in morning. ¿Qué hace en la mañana? Goes? Ahí está el jean t-shirt. Ahí arriba. Ahí arriba. No le cupo. <laughs> ah, my wife goes to the gym. gym. Oh, but gym, gym is like this. Gym goes to the gym in the morning. Right? My wife goes to, goes to the gym in the morning. Right? In the morning. 
in the morning. My uncle. Visit. Visits. Visits on me. Me visita en mí. Visits me on the weekend. Okay. Si va on. My uncle visits me on the weekend. My cousin cleans the room every day. Hey, that was good. That was good. My sister in love. Okay. My sister in love. Mi hermana enamorada. My sister in love. Mi cuñada. Porque si decimos my sister in love. My sister in love has many cats. Si ya tenemos many, sabemos que es plural. Has many cats. Okay, so give me a second. I am going to take a picture of this. Okay. And I am going to add it here. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, it's not, it's not about that. No, not at all. Es para que la recordemos y que no lo volvamos a hacer nunca. So there you go. Lo que voy a hacer es no voy a volver a escribir nunca. No, 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 al contrario. Eso que los motive a hacer las cosas bien. Renuncio como secretario. No, 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 no. No, fíjense que a mí me gusta revisarlo para que ustedes se den cuenta y vean el error y digan, hey, sí, eso ya no lo voy a volver a hacer. Okay? Porque imagínense que solo les escribieran y no se lo reviso. ¿Qué pasaría? Seguiríamos en el error. Ajá, exactly like that. I, I am helping you. Don't feel like that. No se sientan así como, hey, qué mala onda, me revisaron, me enfrenté todo. No, les dije a todos los grupos, revisen sus párrafos antes de mandarlo. Yes, teacher, yes, 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 teacher. No, but it's a teamwork. Siempre es un trabajo en equipo. Siempre revisen. My grandmother. My grandmother likes to drink. To drink coffee. Coffee. My girlfriend. My girl. Okay. My girlfriend. My girlfriend walks, walks every day. My grandfather loves the dogs. Okay, my grandfather loves the dogs. Please, I need you to make the corrections, okay? On each of your paragraph. Hagan las correcciones en sus párrafos, okay? So let's go with the last one here. Let's go with the last one here. Here you go. Uy. My nice. What is my nice? My niece <laughs> has a birthday. A, a birthday. A birthday. Birth, birthday, porque es nacimiento, día de nacimiento. Birthday. On January. Otra cinco, cinco y cinco. On January. My brother-in-law does the shopping. Perfect. Esta oración está excelente. Yo la envié al chat. <laughs> My brother-in-law. Y la copiamos mal porque era low con A. My brother-in-law does the shopping. Ok. And I am going to go and get the last ones. Voy a traer las últimas. Let me see. I have it here. My group teacher, they say. Okay, let's download this one. And I am going to put it here. Okay. Let me close this one. And I am going to bring the last, uh, the last image. Okay, just give me a second. Voy a traer la última imagen. And to check the last group. Así revisamos el último grupo. 
There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Let's check on the last group. Here it is. Okay. The commercial is for free. <clears throat> it says, in my family, okay, podemos ver el, el último párrafo, sí? Lo pueden ver todos? Yes. Here we go. This is uh, the commercial for my group. In my family, my mother takes a shower sí, ya lo <laughs> at 5 a.m. My cousin, no lleva wish, wish, wish car on the Sunday. <clears throat> Wash. My cousin washes, washes the car, washes the car on, y aquí no decimos on the Sunday, okay? on Sunday. My father, it's an ayuda mayúscula, goes to work at 7 a.m. Hey, you have one correct. My aunt fixes my computer. La ingeniera, nice. My brother changes the door. <laughs> my wife walks in the morning. Good. My uncle and me work in the factory. Very good. My daughter takes a shower at 6 a.m. My brothers cleans. <clears throat> my brothers is plural. Clean. No, aquí no lleva la S the house at 8 a.m. And watch, si estamos hablando siempre de plural, estamos hablando siempre de este sujeto. So you say, my brothers watch, sin S, TV every morning. My grandfather drinks coffee with my grandmother. My grandmother makes tortillas for lunch. My aunt has a store. Nice, eh? We did it good. That was good. Very good. I clap for everybody. Good, 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 good job. Good job. You did a good job, people. You did a very good Gracias job. Secretario. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you to the one who was writing. Definitely. Quanto, quanto, eight, nine. Okay, we have, let's see, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Hey, that, that was good. 11 mistakes. It would be like uh, an 8.9. Hey. Hey, that was good. That was a good thing, you see. Nice job. Nice job, my dear students. It was very good. Definitely. It was a nice job, the one that you did. Okay, let me just add it right here. And I am going to keep it here. I am going to make it small. There you go. And here we go. I love my picture. That looks fantastic. So you see my dear class, it is difficult. It is difficult in some cases to check on the mistakes, but it's necessary. Siempre tómense el tiempo de revisar antes de terminar cualquier proyecto. Check, read, analyze, read the sentences. It's not like, ay, que se haga lo que Dios quiera. No. <laughs> Please take the moment. Read again. Check and read. It is very important. Did you like the exercise? ¿Le gustó la práctica? Yes. <laughs> it was like, oh, my group. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's learning. Everything in life is learning, okay? If we made a mistake, it's okay. We learn. Now we need to check, double check the third person singulars before sending. Hoy se van a fijar dos, tres veces antes de terminar una oración en tercera persona. So we need to be very careful. I am going to call the attendance before everything. <clears throat> antes de pasar al próximo punto. I am going to call the attendance and... Let me see. Who says my group teacher? Oh, no, I don't know. 
I know it's the one. Okay. Hey, what happened? It didn't work. Ah, here it goes. Ah, okay, let's go here. Cristian Eduardo Rodriguez. Presente. Thank you very much. Denis Gerardo. Presente. Diego José. Presente. Edwin Ernesto. Presente. Edwin Mauricio. Presente. Janice Vladimir. Here. Jorge Antonio. Presente. Karen Lisette. Karen Lisette Blanco. Hello, no, not here. Carla Patricia Morales. Presente. Catherine Rosibel. Presente. Thank you. Luis Humberto. Presente. Norma Yamilet. Presente. Ronald Ulises. Presente. Víctor Manuel. Mr. Victor Manuel. Hello, Victor. Por ahí está, pero no me contesta. Walter Enrique. Presento. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. Yanira Isabel. Here. Ok. Did I call everybody? Lo llamé a todos. No se me quedó nadie sin llamar. <clears throat> okay, good, 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 good. So let's continue, my dear class. Let's continue working. I am going to show you my presentation. Let's go back here. And here we are going to just give a quick review to what the third person forms are, right? So we have been studying a lot this with the different practices, okay? I am going to silent everybody because I will explain. We have been studying this and I have here the different forms of simple presence, right? The changes that they have, the changes that it makes when you talk about he, she, or it, right? We need to be very careful with that. The only change is in affirmative forms, right? He works, she works, it works. Then on uh, interrogative and in negative, it doesn't change. So we need to be very careful with this. For the negatives, remember that we change with don't and doesn't for he, she, and it. So that is a change that you have to be very careful with, okay? You have to be very careful with that part of the sentences in simple press. Also, the different rules that you need to follow. We need to be very careful with the rules, the rules of third person. When you have the verbs in CH, S, or SH, O or X, you have to add the ES form, right? You have to add the ES to the verbs, right? For you to transform them. <clears throat> you need to keep that in mind as well. Here, right? I have the positive sentences and we were doing this, right? we were doing this example. I like cheese, right? For these ones, the verbs don't change. For he, she, and it, you have to change. You made this sentence at the beginning of the class with the picture of the cheese. He likes cheese. It doesn't like cheese, right? That is something that we need to keep in mind and we need to be very careful at the moment of writing. For the questions, for the questions you use do and does. Do for all these persons and does for he, she, and it. How do you answer? Yes or no, okay? Those are the forms. Can you help me to read the question of these ones? Do you like cheese? Please, so you say, do you like cheese? Do we? like cheese do they like cheese do i 
like cheese, right? Does he like cheese? Does she like cheese? And does it like cheese? And for the answer, so you say, yes, I do. Yes, he does, right? No, I don't. No, he doesn't. If I ask you, people, do you like pupusas? What is the answer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, right? If I ask, does Wendy like pupusas? Yes, yes she does. Ajá, yes, she does. Very good answer, right? Yes, she does. Porque no le estoy preguntando de ustedes. Estoy preguntando de Wendy. Yes, she does. Does Luis like uh, watermelon? Yes, he does, right? Yes, he does. That's the form of the questions. We need to keep that in mind for us to remember about it. So the simple present, it's very common when you talk about things we do all the time. Como hoy en la mañana, que están como las actividades que decimos, que hacemos en la mañana, que hacemos en la tarde, right? Normal activities, general activities. I get the bus in the morning. I get the bus in the morning. I brush my teeth. I play football. My sister goes sailing on the weekends, right? Those are things that we do all the time, right? Things that we do all the time. They are habits, general activities. That is simple present form. And here, for example, we have different sentences on which there was a mistake before, but I corrected for you. And it said like, does he like pizza, right? We need to help it. I did the mistakes for you, don't worry. Does he like pizza? We cannot say, do he likes pizza. It is not possible. In this case, we say, I likes. Is it correct? No. I likes eating pizza. I like. I like. I like eating pizza, right? I like eating pizza. What about this one? Let's see. Okay. Let me give me a second. I will show it here. And here. So in this one, you say, I like eating pizza. Is it correct or not? You say no, because it says, I like eating pizza. What about this one? Is it correct, the next one? She do her homework on the service bus. She, she does. She does her homework, right? She does her homework. It's in third person, right? She does her homework. The film starts. The film finish at eight. The film finish. finishes, right? Because you're talking about the movie finishes. My friends goes on holiday next week. My friends go. My go. friends go. go. Because you are talking about what? Por qué ponemos go y no goes? Because it's plural, right? Because it's a plural form. You are talking about them, about your friends. It's plural. Let's go with the next one. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. What is the problem there? Sister. She carries. 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 Carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Nicole Kidman, the actress, Nicole Kidman, act in a lot of films. Great. <laughs> you love Nicole Kidman. Actress. Act, <laughs> Acts, because it's Acts. plural. It's, it, it's third person, sorry. Nicole Kidman, she. We place in the garden. 
play. We play. We play. We play, right? We play in the garden, play. in the garden at break. Our teacher talk very clearly. Our teachers. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, our teacher talks. Our teacher talks. Very talks clearly. very clearly, right? Talks very clearly. So that's it. That's what you need to do on the sentences, right? Deténganse a leerlas, revísenlas, díganle. Hey, este es plural, este es tercera persona, este es singular. You need to change the verb. So you need to be very observative. You need to check. Okay, let's go to the next one here. On this one, we have the different uses of at, in, and on, right? At, in, and on. At is used for precise time. Let's move to the little boy here. Okay, I love him, but let's move it. Okay, I'm going to move it a little bit here. You use at for precise time. I was telling you this before, right? You say, at three o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at dinner, at bedtime, at sunrise. What is the meaning of sunrise? Sunrise, sunrise. The song, rise. Amanecer. Amanecer, exactly. Sunset. Atardecer. Exactly, right? El sunrise es que el sol sube, se pone. El sun sets es que el sol baja. At the moment, right? En el momento. En el momento. In, in which cases do you use in? With months, with years, with decades, with centuries, and with seasons. In May, in summer, in the summer, in 1990. And for this one, I want to make a stop here. So you say, in 1990, when you talk about the years, you need to divide this, right? You say 1984, okay? And you divide the year. When were you born? Ahí vengo les pregunto. When, oh, this is capital, sorry. When were you born? ¿En qué año nacieron? And you say 1984, 2002, eh, I don't know, 1950 something. Todos los años después del 2000, decimos 2001, 2002, 2023, right? 2000 es 2000. Y el complemento, 2003, 2004. Or you can say 20. You can say 2002 if you want. So my question is, when were you born? You say, Dennis? 1998. 1998. En el 98, really? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to celebrate my 14 years. Oh my God! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Norma, when were you born? 1993. 1993. Oh, you were very young, Edwin. Which? I don't have Ed Edwin, Edwin Ernesto. <laughs> I born in 19... 1974. 1974. En el 74. Sí. Sí, algo así. Sí, 74. Algo así. Sí, pero quiero ver 1974. En el 74. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? 50. You don't look like, imagine. So I was like, wow, you don't look like. Yo creí que tenía como 32. <laughs> Edwin Mauricio? 1989. 
1995. Oh my goodness. Christian Rodriguez. 1994. Wow. Diego José. 1998. 1998. Carla Patricia. 1991. 91. Johnny's. 1987. 1987. Walter. 1996. Oh my God. Victor Manuel. Victor Manuel, in which year were you born? And Catherine, that you are sick, but yeah. Catherine is enfermita. I think hold me. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> Edwin. I hold me. Edwin is the adult in charge here. Okay, quién es el adulto a cargo? Edwin Ernesto. <laughs> Yo soy no. el papá de todos ustedes. El... Oh my God! No, no, people, no. Imagine, I was born in 1984. <laughs> 1984, I mean, yeah, somebody had said, Chinea al niño. Oh my God. Well, yeah, I, I have lived a, a very nice life. Yo he tenido una linda vida, así que no me quedo. <laughs> but Edwin, you are my adult in charge, okay? Si aquí me dicen, busquen un adulto, buscamos a Edwin. Está <laughs> bien. It's okay. Um, so that's I the way you express. That's the way you express, right? Ahorita la vejez ha entrado al grupo. Thank you. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. No, but uh, you and me, because all the other ones are 1990 something. Hay aquí todos son 1990 something. Sí. 1990s. In the next century, right? In the ice age, in the past or in the future? And on. You use on for days and dates. On Sunday, on Tuesday, on 6 March, on 25th December, on Christmas, on Independence Day, on my birthday, birthday, no me a decir birthday, Navidad, on birthday, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve. What is the meaning of Eve? What is the meaning of Eve? New Year's Eve. What is the meaning of that? I don't know. Vispera. Vispera de Año Nuevo, right? Eve means Vispera. So, and I have some other examples. And I need volunteers. Dennis, can you help me to read the first example? I have a meeting at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. Ronald, the next one. The shop closes at midnight. Closes. Close. At midnight. Uh, Walter Enrique. ¿Cuál me toca? <laughs> Number three, the third one. Okay. Jay, when, hot at lunch time. Very good. Uh, Edwin Mauricio. Do you think we we will go to Jupiter in the future? Future. 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 Yes, very good. Let's go with uh, Wendy Beatriz in England. What teacher? In England. Future. Okay. In England, it often snows in December. Very good. Janita, there should. There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Very good job. Johnny's. Do you work on Mondays? Very good. Carla Patricia. Her birthday is warm 20 November. 
her birthday, birthday. And Diego, the last one. Uh, where will you be on New Year's Day? Where will you be on New Year's Day? Where will you be on New Year's Day? Good, so that's the form of the question, okay? So that is the example of simple present, right? We are going to go back to our manual. Vamos a regresar un ratito al manual para eh, irlo completando. Because now that we have started, ahorita que ya le dimos la revisadita al simple present, it will be easy, okay? So here on your manual, también en el manual lo tienen, you have examples of third person in singular and third person in plural, right? It is exactly what we have. Es lo mismo que yo tenía, pero yo solo hice un poquito más extenso. He checks, okay? Dominic checks or Dominic goes. He, she, it. They check, they go, they like, okay? And here you have the forms of the questions. Does he check mm -hmm. reports? Do we check reports, right? And you use it for daily activities and for a schedule events. Exactly like I was telling you a couple of minutes ago. And here we are going to complete the paragraph, okay? I need you to write the complete sentences on your notebook, okay? From Monday to Friday, dominate at 5 a.m. Podemos ocupar call, have, check, wake up, work, or go three times. I need you to complete the paragraph, okay? Le pueden mm -hmm. poner nombre, le pueden poner un número e irlo completando en su cuaderno. Y ahí lo vamos revisando. Three, this is number four. This is number five. This is number six. This is number seven and this is number eight, okay? Pueden escribir los números del uno al ocho en su cuaderno and then you write the verb that you consider correct. Okay, let me know when you finish, please.
Who has it already? Si alguien ya lo tiene, puede levantar la manita y regalarme el primer, la primera respuesta. Janice, let's go. Sería from Monday, from Monday to Friday, Dominic wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, let's write it here. Lo voy a escribir. Give me a second. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wake up Ajá. at 5 a.m. Okay, ¿qué acabamos de corregir hace poquitito con este tipo de verbos. Wake. Wake. <clears throat> Ajá. So you say wakes. 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 Right? Because it's Dominic is a girl. Right? Girl. Uh, it's she in this case. So wakes up at 5 a.m. And she, who has Gosh. number two? Gosh. And she? Goes. Goes. Go. To work. Go. To work. And when she gets there, she checks. She checks. Checks her emails. Checks her emails and, and calls. Call and call. Calls all the, all the clients. 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 Uh -huh. all, all clients. In her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work. Works, works with Dominic. Work. Ajá. ¿Por qué aquí no ponemos works? Porque están jugando. Because it's Lisa and Claudia, two people. They. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They. Have. They have. They have. To work. They. Is it have in this one? Because here you have they lunch have together. To they have to go lunch together. They goes, goes to they have. they goes they goes to have lunch together. Aha, uh -huh. they goes to have. Is this correct? Después de they, ¿qué ocupamos? Go. They go. They go. Very good. They go to have lunch together. And at 4 p.m., Dominique goes home. Goes home, right? Dominique goes home. From Monday to Friday, Dominique wakes up at 5 a.m. She goes to work, and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls all the clients. In her daily list, Lisa and Claudia work with Dominique. They go to have lunch together. At 4 p.m., Dominique goes home. Okay, oh. so we have to be very careful, people. We have to be very, very careful at the moment of using he, she, we, or they. Okay, so here. When we use a simple present, we also use time expressions for regular activities. What are the time expressions that we have? The ones that we have been using in the sentences. Every day, every week, every month, every year. Daily, weekly, or monthly. ¿Qué significa daily? Diario. Diariamente. Diario. What is the meaning of weekly? Aha. Uh -huh. And monthly? Mensualmente, right? How do we use time expressions, right? In daily activities or routines or in a schedule events? A schedule means agendados, eventos agendados. And in this one, we can use, for example, and I'm going to do it with every everybody. We are going to say something that we do every morning. Something that we do monthly. Something that we do once a year. Something that you do every Saturday. And something that you do uh, at night. 
I need you to give me one example of something that you do every morning, monthly, once a year, every Saturday, or at night. And how are you going to use it? Casi siempre estas van al final o al inicio de la oración. And you say like, I clean my bedroom every morning. And I have the sentence. Give me one example. It can, you can take one example of any of those. Pueden tomar un ejemplo de cualquiera de esos. Monthly, once a year, every Saturday or at night. Give me one example. I buy the bill monthly. I buy the bill. Ah, I pay. I pay. I pay the bills monthly. Monthly, right? I pay the bills monthly, right? Every single month. <laughs> Any other example? Give me any other example. ¿Quién más me regaló un ejemplo? Go ahead. Only one, only one. Who has an example for once a year? I have. Huh? Birthday on year. I have my birthday once a year. Once a year. Only one time, right? Every Saturday. Who can give me a sentence with every Saturday? I play, I play video games uh, every Saturday. Okay, I play video games every saturday i play video games every saturday and i need one with at night i study english at night. very good job i study english at night okay and there you have the examples right i study english at night imagine that the sentences are not yours ¿Qué tal si estas oraciones no son suyas? And you are going to write it about your sister. And you say, ah, yeah. I will talk about my sister now. Tell me something that your sister does every morning. Algo que su hermana haga todas las mañanas. My sister cooks. My sister does. I show up every morning. Okay, my sister eats breakfast. My sister uh, takes a shower every morning, right? And there you have for someone else. My sister takes a shower every morning. And then you have a sentence for someone different. And then you can continue creating. Y así pueden seguir creando un montón de oraciones más. And then you can create about your brother, about your friend, about your teacher, right? What do you think? What do you think uh, is something that your teacher does once a year? Es algo que creen que yo hago una vez al año. You take the vacation. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I you take vacation, okay? The teacher the takes... Teacher take Vacation once a year. It's a good thing. Give me another thing that you think that you, I do only once a year. Uh -huh. Invent and okay. The teacher, my teacher celebrity celebrates. Day. Okay, my teacher Christmas. celebrates Christmas once Christmas. a year. 
my teacher celebrates her birthday once a year. My teacher celebrates her anniversary once a year. Good sentences. Another one. How many times a year do you think I go to the beach? Once. Once, once a year. Yeah. I go to the beach once a year and it's a complete event in my life. Only in December. I go to the beach only one time in the year. It's so sad. It's, it's very sad. <laughs> yeah. I, I need a little bit of life. So I go to the beach only once a year in December. What do you think? What do you think is something that Jorge does at night? ¿Qué hace Jorge en la noche? Go to bed. He goes to bed. Very good job. He goes to bed. And he practices English, right? He practices English at night. I hope. Right? I hope that you practice English at night. So we are going to work a little bit on this one tomorrow, right? Esto es, esto es un poquito de lo que vamos a trabajar mañana. The conversation, how many, how much, right? And we're going to practice a little bit of numbers. So please practice the numbers, people, for tomorrow. Practice the numbers. Don't come and say uh, 545. No, 545, 23, 690. I know numbers are difficult. Yo sé que los números son bien difíciles en muchos casos, but we need to practice a little bit, okay? So I am going to send you a practice for simple present and I hope you uh, you are able to finish it. And I think it is over for today. So my dear class, thank you very much for being here. I am going to see you tomorrow. Please practice the rules for third person. Practiquen las reglas de la tercera persona. Les voy a enviar una práctica para que la puedan completar el día de mañana. Okay? Have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you to the secretaries. Bye bye. Thank you to the secretaries of the day. No, you did a very good job. You did a good job. Tomorrow, a new secretary. Bye bye, my dear class. See you tomorrow. Oh, come on. Bye.